Hey guys, today's video is going to be a hot or not on the Arena Swim Snorkel Pro. They have two of these. One of them is a little bit differently designed and shaped, but this is their Pro Snorkel. As you guys know, my absolute favorite snorkel that I rave about all the time is my Speedo Bullet Head, which I have right here. And since it is my absolute favorite, I will be comparing it to this one for the whole review. I do the same thing with a lot of my other products, and I just think it makes it the most accurate because I take all the things I love in my favorite item and compare them to the item that I'm reviewing. To see why I love my Speedo Bullet Head so much, you can watch it up there. First, I'm just going to talk about some of the features of this snorkel, and the first one is that it has two different mouthpieces, which is really awesome. I prefer a bigger mouthpiece. I just think it's more comfortable. Otherwise, you end up biting down on it, and if it's too small, you're like breathing through your teeth, and it just makes it a lot harder to breathe, so I do like the bigger one, but it comes with a smaller one if you have a small mouth. The Speedo Bullet Head does not come with another mouthpiece, so this is a really great feature. And it also makes it easier to clean it because you can take the mouthpiece off and wash it separately and get into all the nooks and crannies to make sure it's nice and clean. Another thing is that it is a clear mouthpiece so you can see dirt really easily and know when you need to clean it, whereas the Speedo Bullet Head is not clear. So you can't really tell when there's stuff in there, you just have to make sure that you're checking. This makes it really nice because you can see it. I like transparency. You can watch my video on washing snorkels up there too. The headpiece does move around. You can slide it up and down. On the top of this snorkel, as you can see, is a very oval shape, and then it actually gets to round down here so that you can move the headpiece. But that does mean you can't move the headpiece up too far because then it starts to get into this oval shape. So you can move it around about right here. It also comes with attachments on the top for breathing. They have one here that's 70%, so as you can see it makes the hole just a little bit smaller. And then they have this one here which is 50% and makes it a lot harder to breathe. But they slide on really nicely, they're easy to get off, they're just silicone, so really easy to kind of throw in a pocket of your bag and then bring it on the pool deck if you feel like making yourself kind of die during a set, I don't know. One of my favorite things about the Speedo Bullet Head Snorkel is the way the headpiece moves. Now as you can see on this one, this does slide. I do have to push pretty hard, but it does slide. And one of my biggest pet peeves is when you're wearing a snorkel and you push off the wall and the water makes the snorkel twist like this. <laughs> so frustrating when you're wearing it because then you pop up to start swimming and it's like on your forehead and it's sideways and you're, and you're like trying to keep it in your mouth but yet it's like twisted to the side. It's just one of my biggest pet peeves of snorkels. And so now I'm going to show you exactly what I mean on my Speedo one. It has grooves in it and as you can hear it pops into each separate increment so you can remember exactly where the headpiece needs to be to fit you perfectly. And then it does not move because as you guys can tell it is so tight on there I have to pull really hard to get it to snap into each little groove and I love that about this snorkel. That means that this snorkel can stay in this teardrop shape all the way down because the headpiece doesn't twist at all. Which means on the arena one that this does slide around a lot and the snorkel twists which is already a negative for me since it's one of my biggest pet peeves. Another big thing that I noticed when I put this on is how thin the strap is. It's so thin. I was putting it on and I was worried that it was going to snap the first time I wore it. Comparing it to my Speedo one, you guys can definitely see the difference. I mean, this looks like it would rip after a few times of wearing it, especially if you have the strap really tight. Also, just for holding it onto your head, you need more support than that. So either you have to make this extremely tight to where it digs into your forehead, or it's too loose because the strap isn't thick enough to support it on your head. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to think of that. These snorkels are both $30 for the exact same price. This one has a lot higher quality of a strap than this one and it just really confused me when I put it on. I was like, wait a minute, that is a very low quality strap. Another main thing is that here on the headpiece there is no padding when it goes onto your forehead. As you guys can see, this Speedo one has really thick padding on the forehead so I can wear this for my entire workout if I wanted to and it will never dig in. I have never had this stick into my forehead ever. This foam is amazing. The Arena one does not have that, so it starts to hurt pretty immediately. I have worn this multiple times now and every time I have to take it off about every 200 because it starts to dig into my forehead so bad and I had the same problem with my finished snorkel. I've worn my finished snorkel in a few videos when I've forgotten my Speedo one and I'm like, oh no, I need a snorkel. I have to take it off between shots that my dad and I film because it starts to dig into my forehead so bad that I'll stop him. I'm like, wait, 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 I have to take this off and take a break because it digs in really bad and this was 
doing the same thing. So far, the Speedo one is the only snorkel that I've found that has that padding, and I don't know why other brands don't do it because it's amazing and it allows me to keep it on forever. Just so I'm not dragging this snorkel too much, I want to bring up a positive is that I like how this part is hard plastic at the bottom. I'll put up a picture of my finished snorkel. That one has this soft material all the way along the bottom section so it can wiggle around when you're wearing it. And I really liked that my Speedo one didn't have that and then the Serena one also doesn't. So that's a pretty good positive for this one. The Michael Phelps snorkel also doesn't have that silicone bottom on it so they're really stable. All in all, I would not consider this a hot item just because it's the exact same price as the Speedo bullet head and this one seems to have a lot more high quality material on it from the padding to the strap to the headpiece adjustment. I just love this one so much more and they're the same price. So if you're in the market for a snorkel, I would recommend getting this one. And not this one. I'm sorry. I always feel bad when I do negative reviews. Ugh, it just like kills me in the inside to do it. I know that this is a really popular snorkel and I wanted to get this review out for you guys and be really honest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment down below on what your favorite snorkel is and another one that I should be trying next. And subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye! My mom's over there telling me I'm more quiet today and I'm just assuming that it's because I didn't have caffeine. So if I seem quieter, that's probably why. Nothing is wrong. <laughs> really good feet, but... <laughs> There are no bloopers in this one. You're so subdued and calm. There's nothing funny in it. Thanks, I didn't have coffee. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I now know I have coffee on filming days. I'm wearing an Arkansas stretch stretch shirt. <laughs> I'm wearing an Arkansas sweatshirt today because I have a lot of family from Arkansas. My mom is from Arkansas, her whole side of the family, so this is shout out to all my family in Arkansas. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Goodbye.